We got pots everywhere. Pots here. We got matrices. We got we got guns. We got we got what do we got? We got rocket launchers. We got missile launchers. We got all these kind of launchers. We got swords. We got uh, leg extensions. We got what do we got? We got new uh, crown. I don't know what we got. We got everything. We got pots everywhere. Pots, just pots. Is it go? Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Deluxe. All right. Before we go on, if you're new, go down and hit that sub button for me. I really appreciate that. It helps the channel out. Hit that little bell. It notifies I've got new content. Uh, give me some likes, shares, prayers, and care breads. As always, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on my Facebook page. It's all in the description. Easy peasy. All right, today I'm doing a What's New in Transformers. Basically, it's where I do a little overview of up and coming new stuff for, uh, you know, for Transformers. Uh, today, we got a bunch of pots, you know, and everything. Pots here. Yeah. And we got, I'm going to talk about Hound. We got some new stuff about MP Hound and the price. And I want to hear what y'all think about that. And uh, maybe some other stuff. I don't know. But before we go on, also, uh, I don't have this stuff in hand. It's just a little overview of what, you know, is up and coming and all that good stuff. Um, and also a big shout out to Antoine Lewis. Uh, most, I get a lot of, he runs two Facebook pages and uh, they're really good. They're right here. Um, I get a lot of my pictures and everything from him and all that good stuff. He's a really good dude. He's always on top of things. You know, he's really getting stuff out real quick and everything. Um, he also runs the Instagram page on uh, R Rima Collectors. He's uh, he's the one, uh, you know, behind the scenes and everything. So big shout out to that guy. Uh, he was on a podcast with me a long time ago, and uh, he's a really good dude. Tell him the Deluxe sent you whenever you go to, uh, join his Facebook page. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I guess we'll start talking about some new parts and all that good stuff. So here we go. All right. Up first, we have some... Uh, thigh extensions for the Cybertron Prime from Siege, the Galaxy Convoy one. Um, and I think we also are going to get it some uh, fillers for the uh, guns also because they're really hollow. Um, so I guess they're going to make them a little taller. Uh, I, don't who, I don't know who's making this. It's from Magnus Prime where I got this off of. So, you know, I guess that's pretty cool if you want that, if you want a little taller uh, Galaxy Prime. And up next we got a bunch of stuff from Matrix Workshop. And this is the M-02. Uh, looks like these are side swipes guns, and uh, has a little, it got a little rocket cannon, all, all that stuff and everything. So, doesn't look bad at all. And there's the uh, soapy one. It looks like a bar of soap and everything. You got the, you know, gunmetal grayish or whatever coloring to it. So, looks pretty good. Not bad. These are for the M02 Siege D Class cross gun weapon upgrade accessory package. Uh, this is the rendering and stuff and all that. So, there you go. Up next, we got the M-11 Siege D-Class Police Car Shoulder Cannon Weapon Upgrades Accessory Pack. And this is for Proud. So he will come with a new gun, and he's got his shoulder rockets. So that's pretty cool. And there's another picture of him. Looks like some silver and all that good stuff. And there they are on his uh, shoulders and his gun, holding his gun. I really like these. I know uh, Toy Hacks has one and everything, but I think these will look a little better than what the uh, Toy Hacks one. So I might pick these up. I don't know. And there they are on card mode. And you can also put them on the front and everything. So you have different ver uh, varieties of ways you can, you know, pose them and all the good stuff. So very nice. And up next we got M-13 Universal 5mm Prime Gun. So we're getting three different types of guns for some Optimus Prime. You got Leader Class, a Voyager, and a Deluxe Class. And there it shows the lengths of them and all that good stuff. So I guess it's more, you know, gun accurate to the cartoon or whatever. So they will fit the Powder Primes. The Siege, and that was the Classics one, I think. Is that the one that spins around that didn't have really a, you know, the stable waist? I don't know. I think that's it. But it's kind of shiny, though. So there you go. Three new guns for some primes. And then we got up next is M-07 Days I-Class Gorilla Captain Combo Weapon Upgrade. Jeebus. Uh, so this is for your Paddle Primes uh, Optimal Primal. If you want some uh, new guns and all that good stuff. You can see he's got the new swords for the little mini one. You got the big guns and you got little smaller guns and everything. So very nice. Uh, you get a, uh, you know, a variety of uh, different weapons and everything for him. So very nice. There you can see you can add them, you know, attach them and everything. So make them a, a super weapon if you want. There they are holding some soap dispensers. Or soap. Not dispensers, but just soap ones. And there they are, uh, kind of the render, you know, colors and everything. So, you know, very nice if you want that kind of thing, if you're a Beast Wars fan. And there's the pixel there in color and everything. So you got some nice gun metal, some silver, the bright orange, 
So it looks pretty good. And here's a couple pictures of them holding them. And then you got the back guns for the big gorilla mode and all that stuff. So, you know, very nice if you, uh, you want to choose this and everything. You want some extra weapons for him. Because, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. You know, and uh, his uh, flight mode or whatever, you can attach all the guns to it. So that looks pretty cool. And up next we got from Matrix War uh, Workshop is also the M-01 Siege B-Grade Prime Energy Treasure upgrade accessory golly they got long names um this is the matrix um i'm guessing it's for the voyager one um i don't know which one it is for so uh, i think it's either voyager or it may be for the uh cybertron upgrade kit one too so you get you know choices of uh matrixes and it shows a, a gunmetal one and it shows a um you know soap dispenser one so there you go if you want a new matrix who doesn't need a new matrix you know all right up next is Pretty cool. I may get these. I don't know. They look pretty good. They got some new null rays for uh, Starscream, and it looks like he has a coordination set. So this is the M-12 Siege V-Class Red Spider Neon a Neon Ray Gun. So I don't. They're just promoting the guns right now, so I don't know if they're really promoting the coordination set. But I wouldn't mind. You know, I always need a new coordination set for uh, Starscream, so I may pick this up. Who knows? Like that, I showed on my last one. There's their thicker ones uh, from another company, but uh, these don't look too bad. And this looks pretty neat. Uh, we got an M-06 Siege B-Class Prime Optimus Energy Weapon Upgrade. So he's getting a new axe. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind picking this up. And here's some different color picks. You know, the, that uh, translucent orange looks really good. Um, he looks really good holding it and everything. And I, he can hold it with both hands and everything. So I like this. I, I might pick this one up. I, lo I love the Siege uh, Optimus Prime. And uh, that'd be pretty cool. You know, it is from that one scene from the first season, you know, but... You know, the axe looks pretty cool, so I may be on this one. Up next, we got the M-10 Siege L Grade Babel, Babel Upgrade Backpack. It's a big sword, which is set A, and we got a B set, which is a Warhammer. So uh, the sword could be, I have no idea, really, to be honest. I don't know who that could go for. Maybe Megatron? I don't know. Uh, the hammer looks like it could go for uh, the uh, Iron Hive. Uh, because he does come with a you know like a hammer kind of rocket launcher thing rocket launcher thing um, And it looks like you can detach it and it comes a gun also so uh, that might be for Ironhide So I don't know for sure who these are for but they look pretty cool not bad And up next we have a M-04 siege metal upgrade accessory package and I think this one also is for Ironhide uh, He comes with his gun and at that uh, long uh, thing that comes in with the member of the G1 toy uh, Came in you know stuck in the little band part or whatever the so, um, yeah, this looks like a, it's going to be an upgrade set for Ironhide. I didn't know he had a sniper rifle. I don't know if he ever did, but I guess it's pretty cool. I always thought Perceptor. I wonder if they're going to make a Siege Perceptor. It would be pretty cool. But it looks like you got some rocket launchers and, uh, you know, some new guns and everything. So that's going to be for Ironhide, I think. And then you got M-03. This is going to be for Hound. Uh, you got this uh, shoulder cannon and you got a new weapon. So... That looks pretty good. I mean, I might be in for that one. I like Hound and uh, it'd be pretty cool to have, have his little rocket launcher. I like that stuff. And up next we got M-08 uh, Rain Ghost Combo Weapon Upgrade. I have no idea who this one's for. Um, it just looks weird. You can add on extra guns to it just like the Siege. That's kind of the Siege thing going on as you add extra weapons. So uh, M-08, I don't know who this is. Hit me up in the comments who y'all think this is for. Y'all hit me up in the comments anyways and tell me what y'all all well, these weapons were for. M-05. This is the Siege V-Class Megatron Sword Upgrade Accessory Package. So the uh, Voyager Megatron is getting a sword. It's nicely translucent purple. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, just got this news in. We got a, a new company making weapons and accessories for MP Dinobot. This is Warrior Armed. So it looks like you're getting a bunch of new stuff. A rifle, two handguns, uh, some bullets. You got a nice little hammer and all that good stuff. So look at all this good stuff. Yay. And there he is holding his hammer. It looks pretty nice. And we got the rifle and all that stuff in front of him. There's an up-close picture of the hammer. It looks pretty nice. I like that silver, that gun metal looks like and everything. The bullets are nicely painted. It looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I might get this. Hmm. There's how you're holding one of those pistols. And you can also arm them on the side. So that's pretty, oh, pretty nice. You can hold them. And you got holding his hammer. Very nice. Another picture of holding his hammer. Nice war, a warrior armed. Up close picture of the pistols and the gun belt. Very nice. And another picture of all the weapons. So it looks pretty good. I think I'm in for this one. Mm -mm -mm. Shout out to the Beast Boy fans. Stasis lock. 
So that is it for the upgrade kits. Man, that was a whole lot of them. All right, I wanna talk about two uh, things before we get out of here. So the Takara Tomy uh, Masterpiece MP13 Soundwave reissue is coming this year. Uh, so it should be a release date of November 2019. It's going to be a frown for $109. So basically you're just getting one tape. It's not going to be the five tape uh, pack we got, I think, Toys R Us exclusive back in the day. Uh, so what do y'all think about this? Uh, you know, I already have them, so I don't really need them. But um, I would love for them to uh, do some more molds <laughs> instead of giving us reissues. You know, it's pretty cool that if you missed out on this guy, uh, but he was reissued, you know, several times. But, you know, I guess they're going to, you know, do what they got to do to get some money. But... I thought maybe they might do a tune version or something like that. That'd be pretty cool if they did a tune color, you know, all that stuff. Uh, but what do y'all think? Are y'all in for this or any of that stuff? So hit me up. All right. Now, last but not least, once again, we got a rumor of Masterpiece MP47 Hound uh, possible contents and accessories. So here's a bunch of their uh, accessories or anything. Uh, you can pre-order. The release date is going to be around December, what they said. So hopefully that'll be right. And it's going to be $165. Ooh, wait. That's, oh, I was hoping for like maybe at least around 120 for I think Sunstreaker was, but we'll see. So here's a list of all that stuff. All right. Hope y'all liked all this new information. A lot of stuff to cover. All righty. All right. Well, I hope you liked that long slideshow. Hope you grabbed some popcorn or something like that. So there's a lot of stuff coming out for the siege and everything. And uh, so I, some of them look pretty good. You know, I like the star screen. That coordination set, I, I thought it was pretty, looked pretty good. I don't know if it fits the Tetra Jet, but, I, I, you know, if, it, if ever one comes out like that, I'm definitely in on that. And the little, you know, the uh, his null rays look pretty good. I, uh, on my last What's New, they, uh, they're another group or another uh you know, whatever uh, company is doing some, but they were kind of a little too thick. I think they were too big for him, but this one looks okay. I mean, I'm fine with the ones he has, so it, it doesn't really matter being, to me, but I would love a coordination set for him. I always love a coordination set for Starscream. Uh, the Hound add-on was pretty good. I, I might get that. Um, the Prowl one looks pretty good too. Uh, I know uh, Toy Hacks has one and uh, um, Patriot Prime, if you know him, uh, he did a, a Toy Hacks uh, update with him, you know, he did stickers and he had the add-on uh, missile launchers and everything. Go check out his review, it's really good. Um, he's getting a lot of love on their website too, so definitely a good guy. Uh, but this one looks pretty good. I like this one a little better than what the Toy Hacks has. But And then we had, uh, the big news is we got some, what uh, Hound is coming with, which he's coming with a lot of stuff, and the price, it looks like it's going to be $165. Oh man. That's a lot of, I mean, I was, a lot of people, I wish it would go back to $80, you know, to, you know, when side swap, 80 to $9, you know, and then 120 was for uh, uh, Sunstreaker. I think he was around 120, 130, I think. And now this is 165. Woo, they're jumping up in prices, you know, and I, I really want one. I have one. I have the Make Toys one and he's, he's just fine. You know, he does the job. Um, but man, 165. Whew, I don't know. What, let, let me hear from y'all. What do y'all think about the new upgrades and everything? Are anybody in on this stuff for the Siege? You know, I collect Siege. If you're a Siege collector, do you want some extra weapons? Um, there's some stuff for, there were stuff for Primal also uh, from the Powder of the Primes and everything. Is anybody, you know, excited for any of this stuff? And what, what do y'all think about uh, MP Hound and what he's coming with? Which is a lot of st cool stuff, you know, and everything. But, you know, most of that stuff is going to go into the box. I really don't. You know, I don't know, but what do y'all do? Y'all use y'all's, uh, you know, extra weapons, all that stuff, and everything. I love the extra faces. I love always uh, ha having that. But let me hear from y'all. What do y'all think of the price, and what do y'all think of, you know, all the stuff that's coming with and all, all that good stuff? So yeah, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and sub for me if you're new. Really, I really appreciate that. I'm on, I'm on my way to 2,000. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll do. I guess I'll see you on the next. What's new in Transformers? And it's always hell, Hasbro, and good night, folks.